The study concludes girls are being shortchanged in school. Subtle biases, researchers say, that cause girls to fail to realize their potential. Instructors tend to interrupt girls more. They finish their statements for them more. They ask lower level kinds of questions that can be answered very simply. They don't challenge them if their answer is just generally okay and it's mediocre. The study indicates biases are widespread, generally accepted, but for the most part unintentional. Researchers believe unfair treatment permeates the classroom environment. Besides claims teachers fail to pay enough attention to girls, the study reports that there are inequalities in male-female relations in school, and even in the way they believe textbooks stereotype women. I have taken coordinate classes at Macaulay, and I did find when I went over there, I was a little more hesitant to ask questions in class because the boys did intimidate me a little bit. Here, I had, don't have that problem at all. The study specifically addresses the peer pressure problem. They believe it affects middle school age girls in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade most. Many teachers agree with the report. They still want to fit in. They want to appear to be cool and do the right thing. And being smarter than the guys is not cool. It's not the thing to be or the thing to do. This incredible loss of confidence happens around about the age of 11 and 12. And um, it has tremendous impact then on, on how uh, girls do as they move on into their junior high years and into their high school years. Has, there's a, a, a very significant loss for society. Despite conclusions in the study, most girls do better than boys on tests and more go on to college. Chris Allen, New Center 12.